with less than 100 days until the midterms, democracy is on the ballot. Election deniers across the country are winning their primary races, setting up a dangerous scenario in November. In Michigan's 3rd Congressional District, Republican Congressman Peter Meyer lost his re-election bid to Trump-backed candidate John Gibbs. You may remember that Meyer was one of only 10 Republicans who voted to impeach Donald Trump after the January 6th insurrection. And get this. His loss could be due in part to the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee funding ads to boost his far-right opponent. In other races, we've seen Democrats vote in Republican primaries in an effort to give the Democrat an extremist opponent. Makes sense. But at a time when democracy is on the brink, they could be playing with fire. Joining me now is Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney of New York, chair of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Uh, Chairman Maloney, thank you very much for being here. Um, Congressman Meyer said he has no regrets over his vote last year to impeach Donald Trump uh, despite his defeat. What message is this strategy of funding ads for extreme far-right candidates sending to current Republican members who are afraid to stand up and cross Trump? Um, well, good morning, Jonathan, and it's, uh, it's a great day for Democrats watching the success of that hugely important legislation on the Senate floor. Uh, we are better off today than we were a week ago. We're better off because of the voters in Kansas, who by 60 percent uh, showed that they are not going to go back uh, with a MAGA Republican movement that wants to drag us back. And at the DCCC, we have one goal, Jonathan, one goal. Let's be really clear. It is to protect the pro-worker, pro-choice, pro-Social Security and Medicare, pro-voting rights majority we hold in the House, and to stop dangerous people from coming to power. There are always going to be questions about tactics. Uh, that's normal. Uh, but we are better off today than we were a week ago. The big losers this week are Kevin McCarthy and Mitch McConnell. And, and, and I get that. And I do want to talk about that. But I do. Let me just get you because I let me just get you to to respond to something that Congressman Adam Kinzinger, Kinzinger said on CNN. Have a watch. Here's the thing. Don't keep coming to me asking where are all the good Republicans that defend democracy and then take your donors money and spend half a million dollars promoting one of the worst election deniers that's out there. I mean, you know, the DCCC needs to be ashamed of themselves. Uh, Congressman Kinzinger on, on CNN on Wednesday, the day after Peter Meyer lost his, um, his primary. Your, your response to what he said? Well, it's, it's flat wrong to say that we were promoting an election denier. We were attacking an election denier. I, I think a lot of the people talking about this haven't seen the ad. The ad said what is true, that John Gibbs is an extremist. He's too conservative for Western Michigan. We have a great pro-choice Democrat named Hillary Skolton. And if Adam Kinzinger really wants to keep common sense, pro-choice people in power, he can support Hillary Skolton because she's the Democrat that's going to win that seat. And it is far more likely today than it was on Monday. Don't take my word for it. Dave Wasserman and the Cook Political Report changed the rating on that race. And they say it is much more likely that a Democrat, pro-choice, pro-voting rights, pro-worker, pro-climate, is going to hold that seat. Let's remember, both Peter Meyer and John Gibbs want to take away a woman's right to choose. Both Peter Meyer and John Gibbs would vote for Speaker McCarthy. Jim Jordan is chairman of the Judiciary Committee. In other words, people can disagree about tactics. That's normal. And there are, there are always complicated questions in politics. But the bottom line is that we are closer today than we were on Monday to having a pro-choice majority in the House and the big losers this week are the MAGA Republicans who thought, who thought they were on a glide path to, to, to the majority, but we've got a surprise for them. We're, we're winning today in the United States Senate. We won on veterans health care last week. We're going to win next week on a plan to reduce climate emissions by 40 percent in eight years. We're going to reduce pre prescription drug costs. And the Roe v. Wade choice between a party, the Democrats, who will keep your rights and your freedoms and a MAGA movement that will take it away is energizing our voters. Do you know in Kansas, we won on that ballot initiative in 14 counties that Donald Trump won in 2020. This electorate is looking more like 2018 every day. Democrats are getting jazzed up. We're going to vote and we're going to win.